I know this is gonna sound like a cliche, but I was really trying to find a video that would show me the setup that I have, and I couldn't find it. Uh, and the reason why I wanted to find that video was because I didn't want to commit to like uh, purchasing the items that I needed and spending all that money because it's not cheap. Uh, and I try and I couldn't find a video. It was it was always something missing. It was not the whole setup that I was looking for. And just to give you a background of what I have, uh, let's start with the main product which is the Ronin S. I got the Ronin S uh, last year and the reason why I got it was because I wanted to do sh some shotgun uh, shooting and I wanted to be outdoors and, and do some cool b-rolls and also like do the cycling uh, part of it so I wanted to be creative and the Ronin S has a lot of features that you can do some cool stuff <laughs> but it was a disaster because <laughs> that thing is too heavy it, it was not for me like I felt really uncomfortable like I was I was not good at, at shooting with the Ronin S that is something for other people. So what I decided to do, because I didn't want to return it, it, it the Ronin S is a really cool uh, product, so I wanted to keep it. I really wanted to keep it. Uh, so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna bring it into the studio, and that's gonna be my main device when I'm shooting in the studio. And I know that most people, they will have just a, a normal tripod, but man, it is really cool when you have all those features inside the studio where you can move the camera, you can do the zoom, which was something that I was really looking forward to. Uh, usually I have to like uh, sit here and see if that's the angle that I want and then go back and, and, and change it and then sit back down. I don't have anybody like shooting <laughs> behind the camera, it's just me. So I was like, oh man, it would be cool to have all the controls right there so you can so I can just sit down and then I can control and fine-tune uh, the angle and where it's gonna be so there was uh, two items that I needed to find and the first one was uh, the tether control handle and the other one was the universal mount and these things together it was like $500 which is how like, Jesus Christ I don't understand why uh, DJI is not uh, creating a feature in the mobile application where you can do some of these things. I mean, I, I didn't understand that, so I was like, oh man, but I really want that feature. I really want to have some control. So I got these two items. I'm going to show you uh, how they work. So I have it right here. So this is the handle. So basically, this is the bottom part of the DJI Ronin S. It's basically this part right here. I, I switched this part with the original one. So I, and I also put the wheel here. So if you can see here, I can just zoom in and out. If you can see in the camera there, And I have, it, I have it all the way here because I wanted to show you in the camera, but I usually have it all the way next to me. So I can, use, I can also use the stick to move the camera around. This is really cool. So before, before I had this setup, okay, let me, <laughs> hold on, let me adjust the camera back again. All right, there you go. Oh wait, I wanna see more of my sneaker collection. <laughs> Alright, so you see, I made all those changes without me uh, moving from my seat. So that, that is something that I wanted to do. Because it, it will make my job easier for me to just fine tune uh, the way it's gonna look. So I don't have to waste time and I can just like do the video. And also, if you see my setup here, I have two monitors. So one is the main one that is attached to the camera and then this one is attached to a second camera. And this one right now is in uh, in the back 
but usually this camera is usually on top. This is where you get the overhead shots. When I'm doing unboxing and stuff like that, this is the overhead camera. So this is uh, the monitor here. And also I have those focus and zoom remote uh, over here that will make this rotate. I'm really happy with this setup. I, I, I feel like I can be more productive. Uh, I can just sit here and if I have an idea about a video, I can just shoot it. I don't have to like spend so much time like trying to <laughs> uh, try to do the setup. Uh, because when you do things in the studio, it's supposed to be already set up. And if you see here, I have everything wired. So I don't, I'm not using any batteries. Everything, the monitors, the camera, the, uh, the running S, everything is uh, connected to a plug and everything is power. I don't, I don't have any batteries. So I don't have to worry about that because it's here in the studio. And usually when I go out, then I will use uh, the GoPros. I will use my iPhone and things like that. But uh, something like this it will be for somebody that is giving a service uh, like they have clients that they shooting a wedding or they're shooting a commercial stuff like that for me I, I don't I don't need <laughs> to have all that equipment like <laughs> when I go outside so hopefully this is something that will help you out if you're thinking about getting something like this this is something that is gonna run you like around five hundred dollars with everything uh, I mean the add-ons for for the handle in the universal uh, mount then everything is separate but i'll leave all the links on the bottom so you can see everything that i have here so this is my setup i hope you like this video make sure you like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one ciao okay do you want to play